there's like so much on the table that it's overwhelming me. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was their Korean inspired. The first thing I picked up was their Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. Yeah, it looks really good. I love bulgogi. Um, I love all types of food. Like, I like Korean food. I like um, any type of Asian food, actually. Um, I like Italian, Mexican, anything, really. I don't discriminate. If you ever go to a Korean barbecue, make sure you get the bulgogi beef because it is so good. In my opinion, bulgogi beef is just the best type of meat because it's so, like, sweet and it just has so much flavor. Like, it's amazing. So, I, I've never tried this before, so I definitely want to try this out and I cannot wait to make this. I'll probably make this later. So, then next up, I got their chicken fried rice. Not much to say about this except for the fact that it is amazing. I just like to add some salt, pepper, um, maybe, like, some garlic sometimes just to give it a little bit more flavoring. But other than that, this rice is really bomb. All right, then I just picked up some veggies. I got some fine French beans. Hold on. I don't even know what I bought. I thought these were, are these string beans? I don't even know. They're like, I think they are. They're very, very thin. And I've never seen them like this before, so I was like, let me try these, because I don't really like the thick ones that much. Um, so yeah, try that. I like making like vegetable stir fry sometimes, so I'll put in like green beans, um, green onions, onions, peppers, like all that good stuff, and just mix it all up and eat that when I, whenever I want to be healthy. And then I also bought some of their organic carrots. I love their carrots because they're so colorful and before I started shopping at Trader Joe's, I never saw carrots like this. The only other place I saw carrots, like all these colors, was Whole Foods. And um, yeah, I just think they're really cool. And I feel like they all have a different flavor to them if you really like pay attention. It's kind of like, you know how people say that um, different waters have different flavors? I'm that type of person, like I can notice like different brands of water like they they taste different and it's true but yeah so it's the same thing with these carrots um i feel like the yellow ones are definitely sweeter than the orange ones the purple ones mm, i don't know they all right okay then the next item i picked up was their chicken tikka samosas and these are just amazing like I don't even know how to describe what it is. It just says chicken, vegetables, and Indian spices wrapped in crisp, flaky pastries. Please get this next time you go to Trader Joe's because it will change your life. And these are the only good ones because I've gone to Whole Foods before and I've gotten their chicken samosas and it's just, it's nothing compared to this. Okay, so this is another new item that I picked up and it is their shrimp seafood burgers. It says you can grill, bake, or pan fry them. Um, this is what it looks like. I personally would probably just put this in the air fryer and see how it comes out. But um, yeah, I've never had this. It looks really good and I love shrimp. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pick this up. And I've never seen this before. Usually I get like the veggie burgers or something, but I was like, I might as well just try something different. All right, so then I went ahead and grabbed these chili lime chicken burgers. Never had these before either, so we will see what it tastes like. It sounds amazing. Um, let me read you guys the ingredients. There is ground chicken, onions, bell peppers, garlic, cilantro, natural flavor, salt, lime juice concentrate, and red pepper flakes. So yeah, and not much to the ingredients. Um, and it says it contains four frozen burgers. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to try this either. All right, so next up, I got these grape tomatoes. I got two containers because I want to try and attempt to make the, the whole like TikTok famous feta pasta. I made it once before, but I feel like it just didn't taste that good with the feta. So I went ahead and picked up some of this mozzarella cheese and I figured I could add this into the pasta instead of the feta cheese because I feel like this would just give it like a better flavor. 
And then I also picked up some basil leaves to add in there. So yeah, hopefully this time it's gonna taste better. Um, oh, and then I also picked up some grated Parmesan as well to like sprinkle on top of the pasta when I'm done. Okay, next up I grabbed their buffalo style chicken dip. This stuff is amazing, like just so good. Um, so it has white chicken meat, with cream cheese, sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, and shredded Monterey Jack cheese. It sucks that I'm lactose, but like I just cannot not eat cheese. I kill myself every time, but I don't even care because this, this is worth it. It's just amazing. And um, I like eating it with these pita chips. This combination together is, I could literally like finish this whole bag of pita chips in one day, which is really bad. That's like a really bad thing to say, but. It's true, like the portion sizes at Trader Joe's are so freaking tiny. Or maybe I just eat a lot, I don't know. Either way, like, I'll tear it up in one day. Okay, so I got these again. If you guys don't remember, um, I tried these in my Trader Joe's holiday haul and they were bomb.com. They tasted like so buttery and nutty and just amazing. So I was like, let me grab these again. They're the cauliflower crisp snacks. These are good just by themselves or you can like dip them in like cheese or something like that some type of sauce and i'm sure it would be even better then i picked up their gluten-free everything bagels yum so good toasted with like a little bit of um butter or cream cheese whatever you guys like on your bagels i don't know um i prefer just butter so yeah, and then um, I also picked up some of their jumbo, jumbo cinnamon rolls. I've never had these before, but they looked good. And this was the last one left. And I was like, well, they must be good if this is the last one. We'll see how that goes. Um, it says it comes with five rolls and vanilla icing. So I can't wait for that. Then I picked up some of their broccoli and kale slaw. This is really good for like whenever um, you're making salads. I like to use these and it comes with like nuts and like seasoning in the bag, but I don't really like to use that dressing. Um, so I actually like using their carrot ginger miso dressing. Amazing. Um, if you've ever been to like a sushi restaurant and you've had their house salad, to me, this tastes exactly like the dressing that they put on their house salad. It's so good. And it has carrots, ginger, white miso, rice, vinegar, and shallots. And then inside of the slaw, there are dried cherries, dried blueberries, silvered almonds, and sunflower seeds with a sweet and creamy slaw dressing. So yeah, if you guys are into salads and you just like making salads as a quick meal, sometimes I would suggest picking some of these up. So the next thing I picked up was their turkey chili. I love this so much. I mentioned this in my last video as well. It's just so hearty and like an easy thing to make. You just heat it up, um, make it with some rice and you're good to go. And of course, I always have to pick up their hash browns every time I go. These are the best hash browns ever. No one else's hash browns compare to Trader Joe's hash browns. They're just amazing. And you just, stick them in the oven um, for like maybe like 15 minutes sprinkle some salt on it and voila okay then next up i just picked up some fruit i'm gonna try some nature cereal oh and i also picked up some of these organic mango chunks i talked about these in my last video as well i've never seen anyone use mangoes in their nature cereal but there's a first for everything, right? Then I grabbed some of their mochi. This time I got the green tea flavor. I've never tried these before. I'm not really crazy about green tea, so I don't know what made me pick this up, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. Then I also got their wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. I like to season my seafoods how I like to season them. I don't really like buying already seasoned things. So usually I'll put some like lime juice on here, some pepper, cilantro, um, seafood seasoning like and garlic. 
it just depends on how I'm feeling. So yeah, that is everything I got for this haul. If you guys enjoyed it, then please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comments like if you guys get anything similar when you're at Trader Joe's or if you have any suggestions of things that you think that I would like from Trader Joe's that you get. Um, just let me know and I definitely look at the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to turn your post notifications on so you're notified whenever I do make a new video. And I should be back maybe sometime later on this week or next week with another video. Bye guys.